Good evening, I'm Matt Mulcahy. And I'm Megan Coleman. More testimony today in the trial of Dr. Robert Newlander, who's accused of killing his wife. Jurors heard more evidence from a prosecution witness who talked about how Leslie got the injuries that led to her death. And the defense went right to work attacking the prosecution's theories. Well, now at 6, our Sarah Beth Ackerman joins us from the courthouse where she's been following the trial all week. Sarah Beth? Today marks one full week completed in the Dr. Newlander murder trial. We only heard testi testimony from only one expert today, but more importantly, we got to watch almost a two hour video interview between the DA and Dr. Newlander. The first witness called to the stand was Dr. Jan Lietzma. He was, he's a neuropathologist who was asked to review Mrs. Newlander's autopsy results back in 2013. While on the stand, Fitzpatrick brought up a PowerPoint presentation to show Leslie's injury overlay, as well as a representation of her skull. Throughout the PowerPoint, the jury was shown another set of gruesome photos of Leslie's laceration on her head. One photo showed a flap of her skull hanging. This was extremely difficult to look at. Dr. Lietzma points out specific pattern injuries that he described as a checkerboard mark. He says, quote, that isn't the sort of pattern you would see by a flat surface. During cross-examination, Mankin brings up Leslie's medical history, mentioning that she suffered from vertigo, causing dizziness. Mankin asks, quote, could it cause a person to fall? Lietzma responds, certainly. Dr. Lietzma did testify he doesn't think Leslie's death was an accident. The second half of the court was dedicated to watching an interview between Dr. Newlander and the DA, as well as Mankin back in 2014. This was the first time we heard Dr. Newlander on what exactly he said happened the day Leslie died. In the video, Dr. Newlander describes when he found Leslie in the bathroom. He says, quote, she was laying on the floor on her back looking up. Fitzpatrick then asks, did you see any signs of life? Newlander responds, I basically went into shock seeing her like that. In the video, the DA asked Dr. Newlander if he could explain any of the blood splatter in the hallways, in the bathrooms, and in the bedroom. And Dr. Newlander responded with, no, I cannot. Now, testimony will resume Monday morning at 9 a.m. For now, reporting live at County Court, I'm Sarah Beth Ackerman. Oh, can't wait for Monday to hear more about what's going on in this trial. Yeah, it is pretty interesting. Sarah Beth, thank you. Sarah Beth Ackerman will be back at the courthouse Monday to bring you that continuing coverage. Remember, you can follow her. She's tweeting throughout the trial at Sarah Beth CNY.